this song is actually in standard tuning. So, good thing you have that acoustic. Uh, definitely a 12 string acoustic being used on part of this. I'm not sure if there's a regular acoustic behind it or not. It's definitely some parts with the rhythm that seem kind of hit or miss. I mean, everything that I. I, I got a tab that worked out pretty well. I changed a few things. But it seemed to line up with the song pretty well. So let's go over the rhythm first. So we have. And I. So I should have sent a PDF copy of the tablature. So that first chord there. And it's, it's kind of spaced funky because of the lead as well. Uh, so it kind of like spaced the tab out weird. But if you look at the note. Rhythm notation is all straight eighth notes for the rhythm part. So anyway, so you're just holding seven on the G, six on the B. Just doing this quite often. So you go one, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, and then we switch up the chord. So same strings. You're gonna hold the six on the B string still. Now the third fret on the G string, we have this for two bars. One, two, and then one bar we have six, uh, we're going to hold five and six now. And then we move over to holding six and eight. And then all that gets repeated again. second half of the rhythm. Hang on, let me check something. Yeah, so I think it's just going to be done twice through. Yes. Twice through and then on that. Okay, so it, seemed like, it sounded like it was just arpeggiating a D5 chord to start with. And jumping into a C triad right here. So you basically got, let's see how many times we do that D5, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and where the eighth one would go, we change it into that C chord, and then we go into this, holding six, eight, basically you got an H or a B flat power chord, but we have an open D as well. I'm going to play that four times total, so two bars of that. And then we're going to hold eight and eight on the E and the A. And we got this. Do that twice, and then we have an augmented fifth chord here, starting on C sharp. And we go. And then it starts over again. chord slow so you don't go you want to hear every string so, da, 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 da. that's what that squiggly line with the arrow pointing up means uh, okay so that's the rhythm not too complicated lead seems fairly simple not definitely not over the top so I'm gonna just break this into phrases so Got natural harmonics there to start with. So you got the 7 on the D, 7 on G, 12 on the E. And then those X's going up into the 13's a string rake, so you can do something like this. So I got my thumb and fingers wrapped over the top here. 
So when I'm playing through, you got nothing but a percussive sound. And so you got that 13th fret on the E held down. So that's kind of how you get that sound. So you got. And then you kind of flip it around. This next phrase up into the bend on the next bar we have. Do that again. Then we have let's see, and then the next part was okay, I was trying to put those two together. Do a better job than that. So that's fairly simple. I didn't really hear much of the string rake that came out in the next part, so I would just ignore that. Well, hell. You know what? Let me just cut it off the tab right now because I haven't made a PDF yet. Hang on. Make that a whole note. Boom. Okay. Get rid of the dots. I am talking so you know something is going on. All right. We are good there. So the thing that I said to ignore, well, it's gone. So never mind. All right. So we're going into one of your favorite things. Three note coils. So this is in the key of D minor, or key of F, and the shape that I'm, I'm using here for this descending pattern is really the Phrygian shape that we worked on, just kind of starting at the top of it. Uh, so you could say we're in the A Phrygian shape. Let's see, we end up, we're stopping on a D note, so it's really a D minor scale that we're working with, so you could do it any number of places. You could end up doing it over here. It doesn't really matter. I figure this would be, because it's a familiar shape, hopefully a familiar shape, I figure this would make it easier to do. So anyway, here we go. And I'm playing it much slower than the song goes. Cleaning the tab. Cleaning the tab. Because it needs to be cleaned. There's something incorrect here. Get rid of these rakes. Oh my god, I need a new mouse. This thing, I, as soon as I let go of it, bad things happen. There, okay, that part looks good now. Oh my god. Get rid of that. Make you a half note. Okay, everything nice and pretty for you now. And for me. Why not? Alright, so the next part you do the same oh my god, this fucking mouse. Okay. It's like it starts double is this mouse is double clicking on me. And it's like I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so it does the same thing again. And on top of that, now we're gonna be using kind of like the top of that Mixolydian shape, and we'd play uh, the harmony. So everything is a third higher, so three notes higher. So like uh, the first note that we started with, on that that's down the first descending coil there, you hit that D note, so we go one, two, three notes higher in key, we're now on an F, so we're just harmonizing everything a third up in key, and doing the coils that way. Another thing you could do, you want to have some fun with it, let's see, what would that be? No, that would be it. Okay, so what I'm uh, getting at here is like, like when you, if you're playing along to the song, like with the first time the coil comes in, you could start with the harmony right away. Then you can harmonize the harmony by going up a third from that. And that would be the top of the uh, Locrian shape. So, you, something to add more to the song. 
All right, so continuing on, like a quick sweep here. And that's the chord shape right there. You got a suspended chord, suspended second one. Anyway, uh, so basically, you, I'm just rolling here. Six or six, eight, eight, six, six. kind of comes in on a, right after the uh, first downbeat there. So, make sure you palm mute as you do that uh, sweep into it. And, probably should have an 8 written as you slide up into that 10, but anyway, that's what you're doing, the 6, 8, 10, so you just pick and slide into that 10. Then the next one, it's not as big, so we're just hitting that shape there. So, and then we change it up here to a diminished shape. So that's how I'll, I'll do that whole section. So it kind of ties together. There at the end, where I hit the uh, those last three notes, that's if you're playing along with the song, you have to kind of like think about where you want to make a jump from one guitar to the next because kind of like the lead that's going on this part uh, starts at the exact same time the other one's ending. So, starting with that lead, this is what we have. So that's that bar, the first bar of that lead. And then we got some upbeat stuff here. And then kind of starts the same, but instead of going 12, 12, we're gonna slide into it from the 10. I'm just gonna play those four bars slow. It's almost like almost does the exact same thing again. So do the next four bars of the lead slow. And the last four bars of the lead. Seemed like the two main parts, uh, the rhythm and the lead there. It, most likely, I think, you know, besides the 12 string acoustic, you know, there may be another guitar going on with that because sometimes it seemed very clear, sometimes it was very muddy in the mix, but playing along to everything, the way I just showed it, it all fit. So if something sounds really off, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll plan on seeing you when, you, when well, I guess, yeah, back in. July, we're meeting on the 1st, no, I think we're meeting on the 2nd, 
But either way, um, yeah, hope your vacation is going well. And uh, we'll plan on seeing you in about a week.